Thank you for watching. I'm Zach Reiner at the WZAR News Desk reporting on this devastating weather that just passed through our region. Now, the conditions are improving, but the damage from last night, well, it almost looks like a tornado ripped through the region. There was no thunder, no lightning, but the damage seemed to be even worse than a severe thunderstorm, or even in some areas, worse than a small tornado. Branches, limbs, chunks of wood covered the back roads, and even some of the more heavily traveled roads after the ice from Sunday night's freezing rainstorms built up on trees, poles, and structures. Roads were slippery, but the biggest danger was from above. Trees fell, poles fell, huge chunks of ice crashed to the ground. This was a story as hundreds lost power Sunday evening, some even losing power late Saturday night. This is Ironstone Drive in the morning hours of Monday, but the only thing that's better is the daylight. A tree still covers the road, wires dangle uncontrollably, ice still covers the grass, and homeowners attempt to clean up as repair crews struggle to keep up with the mess. These homeowners on Ironstone Drive have been without power since 5 a.m. Sunday morning and had to leave their home because of the lack of electricity and the danger of falling trees, clearly displayed by the homeowner's van being covered by a nearby tree's branches. Besides trees falling on lines, a large source of power outages was caused by a light pole at the Boyertown football stadium completely falling and cutting through the wires in its path. Nearby homeowners were lucky that this huge metal pole didn't meet them in their living room. Speaking of poles, the Boyertown Community Park was also a victim. A pole at the baseball field came crashing down from the wind and ice, pulling down with it huge pieces of netting and the fence along the rear of the field. However, looking past the destruction, at least there was one positive outlook, the beauty of the ice and the power of nature. Completely coated ice. Up for some basketball? Doesn't work too well. The destruction could have been much worse, but homeowners still feel that this was enough. Now, although it was stated earlier by officials that it may take days to return power to all of the areas, the time estimate has now been pushed forward to most, if not all, of the homes being reconnected by tonight. I'm Zach Reinert reporting from the WZAR News Desk.